In my last video on pet catchers, I said if the video got 5,000 likes that I would go ahead and buy all the game passes in the game and no longer be a free-to-play because I beat the whole game as a free-to-play. So that didn't happen. <laughs> that means your boy eyesight will continue with the Robux spent number being zero. It's kind of nice to see, honestly. It's like the first game I haven't spent Robux on. Have a little clap for me. Pat on the back. <laughs> anyway, since the last time I did see y'all, I have been grinding pretty much non-stop. I have a couple things to show off to y'all. Some fancy things like this. Oh! Oh, what's this? It's a yellow pool ball that I actually won by killing the Slime King a bunch of times. Um, pretty darn awesome. I don't know the rarity of it, but when I got it, I was the happiest man alive. Because look, look how fast I'm going. And I'm, I'm running on a pool ball. Okay, that, that, is, that is pretty epic. My team has also been slightly upgraded. This is our current best team. We still have the same magma cubes, but they're fully leveled up now, and they got all these good uh, enchantments. I also have a specific team just for fishing. This, actually, this video is going to be a lot about fishing. I forgot to tell you, the goal for this video is we're actually going to get my very first secrets today, and actually a prismatic egg, which has a 5% chance of giving me a secret as well. So we could get maybe two secrets, maybe like a really rare one we'll have to find out but i am so excited for today i've been grinding up for this moment and i can't wait but anyways we got a fishing team just for doing all of our fishing quests with the old sailor man if you remember this guy he, he's the first man we met actually he was the last guy we met pretty much but uh we do the quest with him and he gives us a better fishing rod my current fishing rod is actually the golden one as you can see it uh it fishes pretty fast and actually with my fishing team the whole reason to have it is that it actually has the seafarer luck. All of these pets, as you can see, um, they all have seafarer on them. Uh, I think one of them, yeah, this one has seafarer 4, and it does 1.4 times more luck to catch legendary fish. It's pretty OP, and uh, if I just stand here, see, I get a 1.85 boost for luck to catch legendaries. Very, very nice to grab. And the reason why catching fish is so important for getting a secret pet is because of the fishing index over here. If I catch every fish in the game, I can earn the sea champion. And this is probably the most common secret in the game, but as a free-to-play, getting a secret is pretty awesome. I can't wait, but I think... Uh, I, I, think I think there's quite a bit in the game, but I think there's only still like 3,000. Because every secret pet in this game has like a little counter on top of it like 5,000 or like 100, 200. So I think there's still only like 3,000 of these in the game. Um, I haven't seen a number like anywhere around like two or 3,000. So I think we're good on that. I think we're good. It's going to be pretty rare. So I'm happy. The only fish I haven't gotten yet is the uh, legendary from Gloomy Grotto. Because last night I actually got my first blob fish from AFK in the Magma Basin. I was just fishing all night and that's what I got. I'm very happy about that. I'm trying to remember other things I haven't shown y'all, but I think that's about everything. I guess I can tell you another goal that I have for today that's pretty huge, and that has to do with the last area and the game and the upgrades. So let's go ahead over there. The summit. My other major goal for today is to actually raise up 95,000 gems. And why are 95,000 gems so important to me? Well, as a free-to-play, this is probably one of the best upgrades in the game to help with grinding, to actually even out the playing field with these uh, pay-to-win nerds. I don't actually know, uh, know if this guy's, this guy's pay-to-win. No, this guy's free-to-play. Uh, hey, I love you. Good job. You're a good free-to-play. This guy is definitely a pay-to-win. Look at all those pets. Actually, never mind. Never mind, that's just two people. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Every time I do see someone hatching three eggs at once, I, I, I actually do often yell it in chat. <laughs> I'm like, boo, pay to win. Um, they, they, they usually don't like that, but, you know, come on, man. Why, why can't you just be like me and free to play it, okay? It's more fun this way, I swear. Well, anyways, uh, yeah, so we're going to get 95,000 gems to get plus one egg hatch to, you know, level the playing field. That's the goal. I wish there was a way to get more pet equips, but, you know, it's okay. Maybe Isaac will bless us with something like that in the future. I don't know. But let's get to fishing so we can get our very first prismatic egg. And this bad boy is super OP. And then uh, we can also get the Seep Champion. I'm so excited for that. So we just got to finish fishing in the, uh, the frosty peaks. So let's go back to Winter Wonderland. 
Heck yeah. I've also been actively finishing my index pretty well. Right now I've gotten 80 out of 100 pets. Or there's 154 pets in total in the game that's like normal and shiny. But I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty much every time I see something that I don't have that spawns in this chat, I go and grab it. Um, and that's really the only way to finish your index besides, I guess, being really lucky with these. But I've been pretty good with the legendaries. I have most of the decent legendaries. I think my rarest one that I've gotten so far is uh, the Icewing Hydra. So, you know, we're getting up there. We're working on it. But yeah, let's go hatch like 11 more epic fish from this pond. And then we're going to Sunset Shores. Auto time. Yeah, this is, is going to take a minute. <laughs> hey, we got our swordfish. There we go. 55 epics in the Frosty Peaks. Now we just got to go catch 55 epics in Sunset Shores and Dusty Dunes. And then we're done. And then we got our first prismatic egg and a diamond fishing rod, okay? And that's going to make it hopefully much easier to get that last legendary. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've never even seen a prismatic egg in real life. What is it going to be like to hatch one? I don't even know. I, I, I can't, I'm, I, I'm beyond belief of excitement. Also, another thing I must add that you guys should be, if you're playing this game along with me, please, oh please, join the version 1.01 uh, version of the game. It's only in new servers. Uh, this server is new, but apparently like everything in the game was much harder on release. And I was playing in the normal like version one of the servers until like eight hours ago when I changed servers last night because I found out. Um, but please just play in version 101 because it actually reduces chances for everything. So like it or increases chances. So uh, if you're fishing, it's like a half, it's, it's half the chances it was before to get a prismatic egg. Um, and actually there's a quest over here with the bra guy and my brother got to quest 50 because the developer said, if you get to quest 50 with the bra guy, you get the prismatic egg and he did it, but he, but he did it in version one of the game. And then I only, we only found out right after that because he didn't get the prismatic egg and I felt really bad. So, uh. You guys, just just go to version 101, okay? Okay, just 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 so you don't end up feeling depressed like my brother is. He he's very sad. <laughs> but anyways, after that rant, we can go back to fishing. Grab 55 epic fish. This may take an hour. <laughs> I don't even know. While I was grinding, a shiny rare uh, pyro doggy showed up, so I'm gonna grab this bad boy to finish my index. Ooh, look at it. It's like purple. Oh my gosh. Wait, where'd it go? <gasps> I thought it I thought it left for a second. I was actually stressed. All right, let's grab this. It actually looks pretty sick. Hey, first try. Look at that. Now our index is 81 out of 100 of any bar. All right, let's just, let's just get back to fishing. Oh, oh, there's another one to discover. The shiny firefly. Let's go grab that. Yeah, you're mine. All right, uh, let's, let's get back to fishing. We're so close to being done. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yes. I did it. I did it. Oh my gosh. Also a, uh, no, that's the same firefly as earlier. Never mind. Okay. So I finished that. We only have one more area left to go fishing in. And that is the dusty dunes. We have to catch 55 epic fish. And then we get our very first prismatic egg. And, uh, uh this. Um... I don't know what this is. I think it's a prismatic scroll. So we'll see if that's super OP as well. So uh, let's go head over to the dusty dunes. No. And let's just like fish for the next hour and a half. It, it takes so long, but it's worth it. I swear, please. <laughs> please be worth it. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys in, uh, in a bit. What? Legendary giant pearl. What is that? Sunset Shores. All right, I'm heading um, over. It's not. It's not that good. But I I haven't discovered it yet. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm re I'm recording right now for my video, guys. This is my brother Sunset Noah. Shores. This is my brother Noah actually. So if you have it, oh dude, it's a really low chance for me to get this. Hold up, I need to put on luck boost. I need luck boost. Ah. Uh... It's a 1% chance, even with the legendary. I don't think I'll get it. Hold up. You know what? 
I'm just going to send it. I'm going to use the Sunday. I'm going to use the Sunday. I have another one, so. So use the Prismatic Sunday. Get a huge boost. It only goes up to 2.8%, but maybe we'll get it. That but is a lot better than one. I'm going to just spam it and see what happens. Yeah. I just don't care enough about it to use the Sunday. Dude, it looks... It's a, it's a, it's a pearl. Look at it. Yeah, I mean, it's good for index, but... Come on. I need it. I need it. I'm probably not going to get it, though. I mean, 3% chance is not bad. It's not terrible. That's, like, the same as, like, so, like the like the hardest epic to get in the game. Like, the epic uh, fish. Yeah, I'm recording a video about getting my first secret. So that's what this is. Oh, nice. Because the... Did win yet? No, no. I, I, well, I said I was going to be paid to win if my video got 5,000 likes. And right now it has like 100. So <laughs> I don't think I'm going pay to win. <laughs> All right, we got 40 seconds left. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just spamming these legendaries. Me too. I, should, I need to make more. I only have 20 left because I keep not grinding them. I was opening eggs all night. I wasn't even fishing. Which egg? The black ones? Yeah, in the midnight area. So I have a oh. shit ton of lava cubes. Come on! And I got the internal revenant, which is kind of cool, but... Oh, you got the internal revenant? Yeah. Nice, dude. What? I'm jealous. It's annoying that it's glitched out, so it looks like an ice cube. Yeah, it has the, like, blue... I, I was confused with what you meant by that. Okay, yeah, five no, seconds it's... left. I'm not getting this. Come on. Maybe I do? Maybe? Ah. Oh, damn it. Oh, he got it literally the last second. Siddle gas. That's lame. <sighs> I'm jealous just a little bit. All right, enough of that detour. Let's get back to fishing. We only need another, uh, like, 30 epic fish to get done with this quest. So, let's go. All right, we only need one more epic fish to finally finish this quest that I've been doing for, like, the last... I don't even know how long. I think I've been doing this for, like, 16 hours, honestly. My player stats say I've played in this game so far um, one day in 16 hours. I bet a pretty solid amount of that second day has just been on this quest. So I'm so happy to finally get over with when we actually uh, catch another Stingray. So uh, come on, please. Isaac, please, please. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's actually taking a minute. I, I, I've been sitting here waiting. Come on. Uh, I got a prismatic Sunday. Guys, that's a one in like, I think 20K. Okay, I just got a prismatic Sunday, but I did not get... Okay, we got it. The sand ray. Let's go! The diamond rod quest is done, so I'm not only about to get my first ever prismatic egg, but... Uh, also, what's this? What's this? I don't, I don't even... All right, all right. Let's go talk to the sailor man himself. Okay, the diamond rod. A gift to you passed through generations. I have imparted all my teachings... While, while, I, while I will always be here for guidance, our shared journey finds its horizon. Oh my gosh. You may return to me for varied tasks. Okay. Your skills have surpassed my lessons, and the sea's whispers are now yours to interpret. Okay. Got it. Let's go. Look at all that. Prismatic scroll. Prismatic mystery egg. I am so happy. And now we have a diamond rod, by the way, which um, 85% chance... And the speed goes up by 1.5 times. So, oh, dude. Does it increase my luck too? I think, I'm not sure if it increases my luck. Maybe it does a little bit more. I think it does a little bit more than before, but awesome. I'm so happy. I've never been this happy in my life. Brother, guess what? What's up? I have a prismatic egg in my inventory. Nice. And it looks very awesome. It says, only hatches into legendary pets from the region it's used in and has a 5% chance of being a secret. But I think, like we were talking about earlier, the best way to open this 
is to just wait till there's a lucky event. And I don't actually know when a lucky event will happen. So let me go to well, the. They're, they're random, so you just gotta. No, no, they're not. They're not. They're not random. They have a little thing, the a board at the pet park. That tells you the next events. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go to the pet, so the next event in three minutes is the fortune event, which I think is gems, and then the next one at eleven a.m. is the boss rush. There's no lucky events for a while. I wonder if it's per server. <laughs> like if I go to a different server, there's different events. Or it's like worldwide. I'm guessing it's worldwide if they have this thing here. But yeah, if you go to the pet park, there's just like a, a board that says what the events are. Hmm. I guess in the meantime, I could start fishing to get the uh, very last fish I need. Because last night I got the blobfish in the magma area. So all I need right now is to get the legendary in the gloomy grotto. And then I can get the leviathan, which I'm pretty excited for. Or the like sea champion. So I guess I'll do that while I wait. But my strategy right now is to um You're gonna be in the server? Uh what do you mean? Fishing? Yeah, doing whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm what? gonna join a different server and see if it's different. Okay. That's and a good idea. I like how this is the newer version. That was so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sucks to suck. You almost actually got a prismatic egg and then it just got wiped away because of the server version. Yeah. It's tough. Wish I knew about that before doing all that. It was like 10 hours of grinding to not get it. <laughs> Super great. But yeah, since I'm free to play, guys, I honestly don't get that much luck because, you know, the average person can buy like the two times luck game pass, all the boosts. So I just have to take advantage of all the in-game events. And I only have one chance to open up this prismatic egg. So I'm going to hope I can get everything there. So I'm going to use a prismatic Sunday, which increases my luck by 2.25. I'm also going to use a lucky elixir, and then, are there lucky, like, enchants on pets? Like, is there a way to increase luck on pets? I'm I don't think, sure. I, don't, I don't think Probably there is. Though. You think so? I mean, you could check in the stats for... Let me go, pets. let me, let me go to that, the, the, uh, rune in the, these, uh, ap these appear to be the same in all servers. I joined oh, the, the okay. Alright, so I guess we have to wait a little bit. Hopefully the 11.30 event does it. All right, let's see. So I got another looting rune. I'm going to go check the black market and see if they're selling any lucky ones, if it even exists. All right, the black market isn't selling any uh, enchants. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's any luck ones, because I'm looking at all the different enchants there are, or the charms, and these don't look like anything related to luck. So I, I'm, I don't think there is. All right, guys. In the meantime, there is a fortune event, which doubles all gems. And the best actual way to get gems that I know of, at least, is just doing boss fights. Because they give a pretty decent amount of gems when you finish them. So I'm just going to be grinding that because our goal is to get 95,000 gems. And we're getting pretty close to that. We only need, like, what? Um, 35k. And then we can get one extra egg hatch, which is going to be so sick. So uh, I'm just going to grind a bunch of these... Uh, dudes over here so let me actually hmm is it worth it to use another prismatic sunday i got five of these right now that increases the gem multiplier by two hmm why not why not why not maybe we'll actually get something good too because i think the kraken can drop he can drop this one like lightning thing and i think that's a mount i don't know what it looks like but i bet it's cool and then he can also drop the uh mini kraken that would be so sick to get. I, I also heard that there's like a like a glitch to be able to kill the Kraken easily. So we're going to test that out at, at the same time. <laughs> there's a lot to test out today. I also do have five cherries that I could throw on my um, magma cube to see if it makes it super OP. Let me actually try that here. Let's throw on our cherries. Maybe we'll get a shiny cherry today. I've been using basically all of my cherries on this magma cube, seeing if I get it. And no. That's like probably the 40th cherry I've used so far. My luck is not so good. I'm actually going to put one more looting rune on a... Uh, I think it's this guy. We, hold up. If I give this guy a treat... Oh, can I not give him looting rune to get uh, looting 5? Or is that looting 5? I don't know. I thought that was looting 4, but maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm just crazy. <laughs> Alright, I guess let's start fighting the Kraken. 
Hopefully we get lucky here. But anyways, the strategy for actually apparently protecting yourself from the Kraken is to run all the way on top of this post right here. And then you basically don't even have to worry about getting attacked. So let me try this out. All I gotta do is jump right when this happened. That didn't work. Okay, that didn't work. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. You're supposed to jump. Oh, no, I did it. I did it wrong again. What the heck? Hold up, hold up. Did, th did that work? Hold up. Because it also protects against this attack entirely. But I want to try out when it smacks down on me. Because if you time it right, apparently you can avoid all the damage. And yeah, you also don't have to worry about this. So this is a pretty OP area to stay. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because you want to stay away from the tentacle. I, I don't know if this actually... Okay, I think that actually worked. I think you have to jump like right at the end of the red. L let me see. Oh, that did? Oh my gosh. That does work. No way. That's actually kind of OP. I don't even have to worry about going anywhere else. I can just stay right here. Okay. So you basically jump right at the end of the little red bubble. Let's see if he attacks me again. All right, he's doing that thing. Dude, this is actually kind of OP. So guys, follow this. Oh wait, I did, I did it too early. I did it too early. <laughs> no. Okay, wait. Come at me again. Come at me. Yeah, I, I did that. Wait, do it one more time. One more time. Come on. Ah, oh, okay. This is actually OP. What the heck? I usually would just stand right in the middle. But this is a much better method. I actually found this out from uh, Rambling Ramul. So, credit, credit to him. I mean, he got told by some other dude, but I, that's how I found out. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah! Alright. Nah, Kraken, nah! Give me something good. Give me a mini Kraken. That would be sick. Or the little rideable thing would also be pretty nice. Let's see, did I, did I get anything good? Alright. Oh, we got a cherry! We got a cherry! And a 1.5k gem. See? That is so good for getting gems. Um... But I'm actually going to use that cherry. <laughs> Let's just send it. Let's just send it, okay? Throw it on this bad boy. Come on. Come on. Give me give me a shiny. Give me a shiny. Oh. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's respawn him. I have so many totems that I don't even care. All right. Let's see if we get lucky here. I'm just going to keep on doing this for a little bit. And I'll uh, I'll be back at the end of this Kraken fight. I'll just kill him. Like this. Three, two, one. Boom. Die, Kraken. Die. I killed him. I killed him. See, it was that easy. Alright, let's see what our loot is after killing this guy. Come on. Alright, 1.8k diamond. Yeah, the diamonds are so crazy. We only have really one more chance to get um, more diamonds, but... Yeah, you get so many diamonds from killing these bosses. Alright, the Kraken just died once again. Oh, let's see our loot. Let's see if we actually got something rare. That would be sick. Okay. Nothing too rare, but lots of diamonds. And the event is now over, so... I guess I could spend the rest of this luck just hatching eggs. See if I get lucky here. Or, I could just actually finish this quest and just fish. You know, that might be a good idea. That might be a good idea to use the next, like, hour to hopefully get this beautiful sea champion. And be maybe one of the first, like, 10,000 people to get it. <laughs> That's still pretty good, though. So, uh, let's go head over to the Gloomy Grotto and let's just start fishing. All right. That's all I want. I want a secret pet. Today is the day to get it. It will happen, I swear. Off we go. All right, so I've been fishing for a little bit, but I've just checked the board, and it looks like there will be an, a lucky event at 12.30. That's in about 30 minutes, so I'm just going to... I can't talk. Why can't I talk? Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to continue fishing for the next 30 minutes. Hopefully, we get the legendary from Gloomy Grotto. Where's the teleportation orb? Right? And, uh, yeah. So, that, that's the plan. It's, it's pretty genius. And maybe we'll even get enough diamonds while fishing to actually also get the uh, upgrade. Today is going to be so darn productive. All right. Back, back to fishing. I guess, I, I guess not that productive, but <laughs> productive in Roblox terms.
It is time. It is 12.30. We've been fishing this whole time, and no luck on the fishing, okay? No no legendary. It's only 1 in uh, 1.6k, but I haven't really been that lucky. But on the good news, let me actually turn on the volume. This is going to be an epic moment because the lucky event has started, and we all know what that means. Unfortunately, my brother right now is going out and doing, like, DoorDash, um, so he's not going to be here for the epic hatch, which is kind of sad because I, I needed some companionship to help motivate me to not be depressed if I lose, but it would be really awesome if we got a secret and we could show him it. So, uh, yeah, let's just go to the last area in the entire game. I'm going to go like all the way to the top of the arcade. Hopefully that gives me luck, but I'm so excited to open up this prismatic egg. Like I, I I'm actually, <laughs> I'm so excited. What's that? Oh, okay. <sighs> And we're so close to that 95k to be able to hatch two eggs at once. Two of these eggs. I'm so excited. See, this guy's hatching one at once, but we could be hatching two. All right, let's go up next to the arcade. Maybe this area will give us luck. I wonder if the egg will go into the arcade area. Hold up, let's test it. Oh, it does. That might actually give us luck. I, I, I Probably not. Probably, probably not, but we'll see. Okay. <clears throat> we all know what has to happen. We all know. Oh, what does this do? Set all level four charms on a pet to level five. Okay, I don't think that's that good. All right, let's put on the prismatic Sunday. Woo, I'm so excited. All right, all right, you know what? Let's even turn on music. I usually don't have music on, but let's turn it on a little bit. Is that helping Is that helping us with luck? Here, I'll put it at like 10. Okay, maybe that'll help us with the luck. All right, let's put on a luck boost. Let's put on 20 of these, all right? Even though we're only hatching a single egg. You know, we're going to put on all of the boosts, okay? I have so many freaking coin elixirs, by the way. Okay. Okay, what other things can boost uh, luck? Right now, my, my overall luck multiplier is 3.6x. That's pretty good. And we all know that the Prismatic Mystery Egg um, it gives you a chance to get any of the legendaries in your area and a 5% chance at a secret. And I think with these boosts, that 5% chance goes to 20%? If I'm not wrong, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so excited. I mean, should I just send it right here? Should I just do it? I guess so. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Prismatic mystery egg. Oh wait. These, I don't know if these percentages make sense. Because it says, okay, I, I'm not even going to, I don't even know. I don't even know. Because it says one in five million for the secret. But it's supposed to be one in five percent. So we'll just have to see what happens. All right, here we go. 7%, 13%, 90%, 25%, 32. Oh, I've been waiting all day for this. All right, here we go, boys. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, okay, okay. What is it going to be? Please. No. No. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Really? What? Oh, I was hoping at least the Cerberus. All that just for another magma cube. That is that is disgraceful. I am greatly disappointed. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna spend the rest of this eleven minutes hatching normal eggs. Maybe we'll even get something better from it. Nice eyesight. Not not nice. That was a prismatic egg. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right let's just let's just let's hatch these i guess get some more brain rot it's one in 300 normally okay that is not that good i'm depressed imagine this guy wait he just got a legendary what did he get what did he get oh he got a magma cube see that's how easy it is to get the magma cube he just got one just from normal hatching okay <sighs> bruh that guy just got a Cerberus. <laughs> he just got a Cerberus. Oh, I'm getting a legendary. Let's see what I get. Another magma cube. Okay. <sighs> hey, the lock is pretty crazy right now, though. Maybe we get a Cerberus. Who knows? Probably not. All right. Well, the luck event is over. With all that hatching, I ended up getting three more magma cubes that I don't want. I don't want these. I don't I, I don't need the magic cues. I don't want them. I don't want them. I don't want them. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. So yeah, that is the sad fate of the, um, 
of the prismatic egg, I suppose. The only things left for me to do are to get this plus one egg hatch so I can just open more of those eggs and then hopefully get lucky and get a secret or something. And then also finish the quest um, of just hatching that legendary. Um, I don't know what I'm going to tell my brother, okay? He's going to be greatly disappointed. Maybe I should have waited. I should have waited to be with him. He could have given me the luck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I thought that, that, that the luck would really increase my chance of getting a secret, but I don't know. This is, this is a sad day for all of humankind. Specifically me. Yeah. Let's get back to fishing with our fishing pets. Yeah. Ah! Yes! Yes, I wasn't even paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention, but we did it. We got it. We got, I don't even know what, what it is. What is it? What is it? What, what, what's the fish called? What's the fish called? It's an angler fish. We caught it. I was sitting here wondering if I'd be doing this all day, okay? And I was like, geez, man, I don't want to be doing that. But guess what? It doesn't even matter because we got the very last fish in the game. My fish index is complete. And um, do I just have the – I don't have the sea champion yet. So I think I have to go over to the leaderboard thing to get it. I, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, look at that. 28 out of 28 caught. Wait, let's, let's, let's unequip. This is going to be epic. Here we go. Claim reward. Oh my gosh! Yes! All right, we have gotten the beautiful... Does it say in chat or no? I don't think it says in chat. All right. Well, this is the 8,820th sea champion in the game. And oh my gosh, is it OP. Wow. Okay, that's insane. Wait, let's fully level this up. Hold up, hold up. Fully level it up. All right, use all. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Wait, I just used 200,000 berries and it only got it to level nine. Wow. Okay. And it says secret on it. Oh my gosh. It's my first secret. It even shows up in the index as a secret. Dude. That's so sick. Let's equip it. Dude, that's so sick. Wow. I mean, I know there's 8,000 of these, but still. Dude, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Yes! Now, the only thing I can make it even cooler is if I, uh, you know, if I, if I got it shiny. But um, how many cherries do I have right now? Do I even have any? I don't have a single sh cherry right now, which is kind of unfortunate. Oh, dude, that'll be the next goal. Maybe I'll do that in this video. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm sure a shiny version of the Sea Champion will be just absolutely insane. I can't believe I used up 300,000 wild berries on it. And it's not even close to being the top level. It's 7 million XP to level it up again. 7 million. What the heck? How am I supposed to get 7 million XP? Um, also, let's, uh, let's go ahead and actually give it a, uh enchantment. I mean, what are my current best enchantments? I mean, I guess these are, like, aren't the best. So, yeah, let's just do some random enchantments on it and see what it gets. All right? Let's send it. Let's send it. Let's enchant you, boy. Let's see what you get. What are you going to get? All right. Lifesteal. Okay. That's all right. And high roller. Hmm. Are those two that I want? I don't actually know if I want that. Here, I'm going to re-roll it because for some reason I have 38 of these mystery scrolls. So let's just send it again. See what I get. All right, shrine. I could do that and then just upgrade the shrine to max, but I'm just going to keep on sending it a couple more. Okay, shrine three, 10% chance to increase drops from shrines. That's not bad. Um, I kind of want, want something that increases the damage. So this one is deadly three or deadly two, increases pets damage by 1.15. That's all right. Deadly five. Whoa, 2,000 damage. All right, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that, and I think I actually have, yeah, I have looting rune, so I can just add this on top too, and give it looting three, and that is insanely OP. Oh my gosh. Imagine this guy is shiny. Shiny, it would do 4,000 damage, and then everything else. Let me lock that bad boy too. Can I name him? Can I name him? I don't think I can, actually. Oh, you can't name pets in this? I guess not, but that's so sick. Yo... Honestly, you know what this calls for? This calls for defeating the Kraken, okay? All right, that, that's what this calls for. All right, I've been doing this all day. I can't believe it. The next thing to do is, honestly, I guess, because our next major goal for this video is to get that plus egg hatch. And I'd have to defeat the Kraken a bunch of times for that anyways, so I guess that would be the 
next thing to do. So let me go ahead, put on some coin multiplier. I think luck, yeah, that increased boss drops and uh, some other stuff. And let's just send it. Let's go ahead, fight the Kraken. Let's see how fast he dies with my new Leviathan pet. All right, don't mind me. I'm just going to go over in this corner, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to go right here, and then you can just ignore me. All right. Oh, uh, no. Nope. We're doing 15k per hit. That's crazy. Uh, uh, oh, shoot. I, I mistimed it. I miss input. Miss input. All right. All right. All right, let's kill this cracker real quick. I'll be right back when he dies. We're doing a lot of damage. All right, nighty night Kraken. I'm sorry, my friend. The sea champion is too powerful. Yeah. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see. Do we get anything good? Okay, we got 600 diamonds. A lot less, but to be fair, the last time I did it, I had the prismatic sunday on and i also had the event that was happening at the exact same time which was super op that did give us a lot of xp though a lot we still need like nine million to upgrade this or seven million <laughs> and that gave us five hundred thousand. but i guess it splits it up between all the pets you have right so a whole bunch of it went towards basically nothing unfortunately man i wish i had a bunch of cherries though hmm, i wonder if my cherry thing in that area is down the rune, but it's probably not. It takes like 16 hours to respawn. Oh, I just sold some fish and got 5,000 diamonds. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize I had that much good fish. Wow. But we still need another 30,000 uh, diamonds. Gonna make sure I don't spend it on stupid stuff like this, but... Yeah, what are the best ways to get diamonds? I just... I, I don't know. Huh. I mean, it's tempting looking at this. Although, actually, to be honest... You really don't get that many diamonds for the amount of Robux you have to spend. 10,000 for 750 just doesn't actually feel like that much. <laughs> that would be a lot of Robux, okay? So I'm not even tempted. I mean, not that I would be able to even do that because um, I don't have any Robux, but uh, here's Bimiki, by the way. He's AFK fishing while he door dashes. Congratulations. He has a Cerberus. And, uh, wait, is this his team? I figured he'd have a better team. Doesn't he have the Infernal Revenant? Doesn't he have that? Why aren't you, why aren't you have that, having that equipped? That's like the best pet in the game. I don't know. He's, he's an odd guy. Oh, you know what? That's his fishing team. I'm dumb. <laughs> that, those aren't his best pets. Those are his best pets for fishing. It is nice to see that I finally have a secret. It feels, it feels pretty good. Well, I guess I'm going to do the King Slime as well. He's level XXX, which is for uh, level 30. Let's see if we get anything good from him. I've already gotten the uh, yellow pool ball. Mostly, I guess I really just need to get gems right now. That, that's my main goal. Let me also put on some boosts. Um, but gems are kind of hard to get, to be honest. All right, let's put on XP, and then this increases our chances. So let's send it. We're going to kill the Slime King for the 30th time. <laughs> I heard a really good strategy for killing the Slime King as well is going, like, right here. I don't know if it works. Does it work? Yeah, he, like, floats up there. And then apparently... You're supposed to jump when he jumps. I don't know. I get. Can I just stand here the whole time and not die? It looks like I get healed back enough that I could just stand right here. I don't know. I, I've heard that this is the strategy. This might actually be the strategy. Honestly, this is working out pretty well for me. All right. He's about to go invincible. Let's see if I die here. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually not moving or jumping at all. Oh, he respawned though. Uh-oh. Yeah, because he goes in the middle when he's invincible. I'm just going to see if I can stand still the whole time and not die. We're getting pretty low health. Uh-oh. We might die here. Hold up. Uh. Okay. Oh, that, that does a lot of damage. I don't know. I learned this strategy the same from uh, Rambling Remul. But I think you're supposed to jump when he goes on impact, but it's kind of like hard. Like, how do you how do you tell when he's jump? Or, or maybe you're supposed to walk out of the way when he goes on impact. But I think I actually can. I can kill him without basically moving at all. That's impressive. All right, there we go. The Slime King has died. He's, like, all the way up there. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what I got. Did I get anything good? Um... Only a hundred diamonds. Ooh, that's not that's not the greatest. 
There's got to be a better way to get diamonds than that. Maybe fishing is just the way. Just go AFK in like the last area. I wonder which legendary fish is like the most worth it to grind for. Like, is does this one give enough diamonds that you should just like AFK this one? Or should I AFK the last one? Because I know the legendary in the last area is worth 800 diamonds, but it's one in like 10,000. So you're not, you're not gonna really going to be getting that, that often. So I wonder which one is like the actual one you should be grinding for. Maybe I should like watch a video on it or something. I need to know. I guess this is also a really good way to get diamonds, actually. Completing these bruh quests. I haven't done these at all. I also have the sailor quest, which hmm, I'd be able to fish at the same time and also get the reward. And it has a pretty good uh, potion reward, too. So you know what? I might just do this. I might just continue doing these sailor quests. Yeah, I'll just do that. Why not? All right. Uh, fish in the magma basin. I mean, I've already done that for a while, so let's just go fish a little bit longer. And 125 fish really isn't that much, so let's go ahead over there and continue until we get 95,000 diamonds, and then I'll feel complete. Not really. I'll probably have another goal after that. <laughs> All right. Wait, I almost forgot to put on my fishing team. Equip these bad boys, and let's go. All right, I disconnected, but I finished the quest. Now I gotta do is catch 125 fish in Auburn Woods. So, uh, let's do it. All right, so the quest finished, although you know it's weird. Did I just get the reward? I wasn't actually paying attention. Did, did it just give it to me, or do I need to go back to the sailor? I, yeah, I don't think I need to go to the sailor anymore. I just automatically get the quest right here. So I'm just gonna keep on doing them because I get 500 diamonds for the next one. I don't know if I finish the quest and I use like a two times diamond thing. Well, I guess the only two times diamond thing is this and that's not really worth it, but I wonder if it actually multiplies it. I'm not exactly sure. I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm going to keep on doing this quest and see how many diamonds I can get. I'm trying to get that 95k, so here we go. All right, I finished the quest. It gave me 500 gems and we're already on to the next quest, which hold up, hold up, that's not bad. Um, this one gives 1.2k diamonds and a cherry and some good stuff. Hold up. These are actually pretty good. So I need to catch 25 rare fish and then 125 in gloomy grotto. That's not even that hard. So, okay, let's do it. Back to the fishing montage that doesn't actually exist. So we're just, we're, we're, we're fishing. All right. I did it. I finished that quest. That one actually gave me quite a bit of stuff. I think it gave me like another golden cherry which i could <laughs> i could send it right now you know what why not why not uh let's send it on the leviathan maybe we actually turn something shiny finally no okay never mind all right this quest is uh 600 diamonds damn these diamonds they're coming quick but you know you know it could be a little bit faster i wonder if there's there's a better there's gotta be a better way hmm all right, finish that quest. Off to the next one, which is somehow easier than the quest from three quests ago. I don't know how they do it, but this one is actually easier, which is kind of funny. It's good for me, though. It's all, I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know what just happened. I think my screen's broken. My Roblox is broken, guys. I'm trying to fish right now. It just It's turning black, but you guys can't even see it. You guys can't even see anything. Hold up. What? All right, we're back. I think things are back to normal, kind of. Yay, more fishing. Oh, I got a golden ticket. I already have seven. These quests are pretty good, though. This one gives me five of the the fishing elixir and then 600 gems. But, you know, I, I, I wish there was a way to make them, like, 10,000 gems or something because that would make me a lot happier. All right, there we go. Next one is, yeah, just as easy. Apparently at, at the 50th Sailor's uh, Quest, they call it Request, Sailor's Request. I don't know what that means. But apparently when you do the 50th one, it also gives you a prismatic egg. Unless the one that I just did was the 50th one. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm like past the 50th one, but I don't think I've done 50. Huh. I, I don't know. I just fell out of the map, but I'm, I'm back. Uh... That was weird. Well, all right. It's actually like four hours later because I had to go to uh, practice for a sport. Who would have known? A Roblox YouTuber does a sport? Yeah, I do. And, and, and you better know. Uh, best you. Uh, be, no, never mind. Never mind. I quit. I, I AFK'd fish the whole time while I was gone. And uh, let's see. Did I get any good fishies, I guess? Uh, I guess I did. What's the fish in this area? These... Okay, that's actually not bad. That's not bad for diamonds. 
I might actually make a decent amount. I got like maybe 5,000 diamonds just from fishing alone. I didn't complete any quests, but I also got some cool items. Or maybe I already had these. I don't know. So let's go ahead and sell all of our stuff. Let me go equip all my best items for selling. And then let's see if we made enough diamonds to buy that upgrade. I'm going to guess we probably didn't just because, I mean, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Here, let me go equip. Um, Are there any boosts for, like for diamonds? That's a coin multiplier. XP. Yeah, I guess there's not really any good boosts for diamonds. So let's just go ahead and... uh. Sell our fish. 12k. Oh, yo, we're so close. We're so close. 12k. All right. That's actually mad close. Let me go uh, craft my epic cube. Okay. That's awesome. I just need to finish like two more of these seller quests, and I think I'm there. Yo, what's up, brother? We um, definitely didn't already talk before I just yeah. said yo. Well, anyways. <clears throat> I haven't talked to you in a bit, but I do have some things to tell you. I opened up that prismatic egg. Okay. Did you ever open one? Um, cause no. I see, wait, you, you never got one? No. What? Oh, did you never finish the, the fishing thing with old sailor? Yeah. I have the diamond rod quest still. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Cause I see in chat, you got the <laughs> sea champion, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, so I got that. I, I have a, I have a, I have a higher number than, or a lower number than you. You got yeah, number nine thousand eight hundred, and I got eight thousand eight hundred. Just a couple hours before. But anyways, um, do you want to hear what I got out of the prismatic egg? You guess. I opened it with a prismatic Sunday on the luck boost in the server, and then just everything. So what do you think I got? A uh, lava cube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which kind of yeah. sucked. Yeah. That, I figured that because it's just like, but like, but dude, it it, it says you get a five percent chance of a secret. So I figured I'd get like a twenty percent chance at a secret. I didn't know how it works, to be honest. Yeah, I'm I mean, I'm kind of depressed. Even if you did, if you only have one, that's. But anyways, on better news, well, I, I mean, I have the sea champion. It's pretty sick. My goal is to make it uh, shiny. Wait, hold up. I have three cherries right now. Let me let me, let me go at it. Let me, oh, ooh. let me see. Oh, it didn't work. Didn't work, but that'll be sick. My sea champion does like two thousand damage. He's pretty insane. Nice. Cause he's level nine, which took a lot of cherries, by the way. Like holy moly. Let me try to level him up again. You can use the leveling scrolls too. Oh, the leveling scrolls! Hold up, I forgot about that. How many of those do I have? Yeah, those are. I got twelve. Hold up. Yeah, let me use those. Like, what else am I gonna use them on? Yo, sick. He's not actually going that much higher in, like, uh, um, damage, though. Those first nine levels, like, did a lot for damage. He's not really going up that much. He's going up a lot in, uh, coins, though. Let's keep on going. Hey, I got my guy to, uh, level 22. That's not bad. Nice. <clears throat> but anyways, I was gonna say, I am at 93,000 coins right now. So I'm, like, very close to getting the, uh... That upgrade, which I'm super hyped about. So that's my main goal before I end this video. This, this video is like an hour long at this point. <laughs> I've been filming it all day. But actually the best way to get diamonds, like after you finish that diamond rod quest, is just c continue doing the sailor quests. Because um, about on average, every quest after that gives like a thousand diamonds, which is not bad. And they're not that hard. They're like simple things, like catch a hundred fish in like an area. So it doesn't seem I mean, too hard. I mean... This, yeah, I guess if they get easier, because this one... Well, no, no, it, they're way easier than that one. You'll see. Yeah, this one, the catch 27 legendary fish, and then 55 epic fish from each place. Yeah, yeah, that one took forever. It took me, like, yeah, that's, honestly, like, eight hours to do that. Yeah, that's kind of a grind. I figured I'd grind out the legendaries first in the easiest area, but I keep disconnecting because it's so boring. Yeah, so... And I've been playing Valorant. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait. So I'm going to get... What was I going to say for my video? Oh, shoot, I can't remember. Uh, I'm going to get 95,000 gems, and I'll see you guys in the next clip where I can finally get that upgrade. So let, let's go. All right, boys. It is time. We are at 95,000 gems. Actually, pretty much exactly. And we can finally buy the beautiful plus one egg hatch upgrade. I have been waiting 
forever to get this, ever since I made it to this last area. And that was like two days ago, three days ago. I don't know how long ago it, it was, but I, I just can't believe it. I just actually ate dinner and it was like so good. I had some like nice beef tacos. You don't care, but um, I just felt like that's needed to tell you. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's buy it. Let's buy the egg hatch plus one and let's, let's experience it. Oh my gosh. For some reason it's, it's on me. What the heck? Dude, this is so nice. This is this is so satisfying. Okay, what the heck? This is really glitched. This is really weird, but we did it. We did it, boys. We can now hatch two eggs at once. I can't believe it. It's so amazing. I feel like a pro player right now. Wow. And hold up. There's a legendary giant pearl in the uh, Sunset Shores. If we get that, that is the perfect way to end off the video. So uh, let's go head over there and see if we can grab it. This is the only legendary that I still don't have from this area. So let's see if we can get lucky here. There it is. You will be mine. All right. Ooh, hold on. Mm. Let me see. What do I have for luck boosts? Let's put on this bad boy. I think that's, I think that's all I need. Yeah, it's a 3.2% chance. Let's see if we get it. Let's see. Yo, we got it. We got it. After not that long, with a 3.2% chance, we discovered the giant pearl. Let's go. And also, guys, just a reminder, zero Robux. Zero Robux spent. Okay? We're that pro. We're, we're just that pro. <clears throat> there we go. Is it any good? It's actually pretty decent, actually. I'm surprised. I thought that would be a lot worse. That's like almost as good as a magma cube. Hmm. Still not good enough to be on my team with the beautiful C champion, but it's pretty good. I guess that's all for today as the free to play noob in pet catchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go watch the video from the other day where I actually became originally noob the pro. It's right here. Thank you so much for watching and uh, goodbye.